guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to Inside the Hem. Today we are going to be going over all of the things that I made during the month of September. And I'm going to go ahead and pat myself on the back because I ended up adding, well, eight new garments to my wardrobe this month. It sounds crazy. I'm not exactly sure how I did it. Um, I was just feeling super focused and had some time. That is a big factor. Um, so I was able to knock out eight projects. I will say um, two of them were works in progress, which is a huge goal of mine to um, attack that. I have so many and I don't know why it's just a horrible horrible habit so I'm just glad that I can check those off and say that they are done and they are you know a, a make just like any of the others whether I cut them out and sewed them all in one month or not um, we'll start with what I'm wearing um, and I'm just gonna briefly go over these because there are so many but you will see um, reviews on each of these if I haven't already posted them this month you will see them um, during October at some time so this is simplicity 8213 um, it is version C I think it was so this is a one of the works in progress it was so long ago I'm not a hundred percent sure oh so I think it's version C with the sleeve from version B yes and this was a really great little pattern to sew up. Um, I had a really good time making it, I remember. Um, I decided, if you can't tell, to do, this is like a scuba knit, and then this is a faux leather. So there's faux leather collar, faux leather sleeve, and then there's also like an overlay that's faux leather as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's scuba, so basically the whole thing was on the serger. The only tricky part were, were these leather pieces, and other than that, it was a really great quick sew. But I think what held me up and made it a work in progress for, this has been in my work in progress, been for more than a year. And I think the only thing that hung me up was lining. Those dang linings. First of all, I never seem to have the fabric on hand, so then I have to go get it. And then, I don't know, lining's just finicky and it's like not super fun to do and it's like the boring parts. <laughs> so um, that always ends up getting pushed off. But the other views um, are really, really cute. There's this really great one, version A, that has like a long sleeve with a little itty bitty bell on the end, which um, is a great subtle way to get into the um, sleeve trend. So I'll definitely be making this one up again. Um, the fabric... I don't even know where I got it. I probably like Fabric Mart or Fashion Fabrics. It might be one of those Maggie London deals that they do at Fabric um, Fabric Mart all the time. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. I don't even know where I got the leather from either. That might have been a New York thing. Can't remember. Bad blogger. Anyways. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll post a full review about this on the blog in October. The next one is something you've probably all already seen if you've been keeping up with the videos, and it is my outfit for Cali Fabrics blog this month. It is a tunic, um, and a, like, lengthened bomber jacket with, like, a, a ponty collar and cuffs, fully lined. And then it, it was also these um, pants, loose fitting pants um, that I made to go with it, but didn't actually end up wearing with it in the video. Um, the pattern is Vogue 9275. Again, I have a full review on this one. You guys can get all the details on the fabric, the pattern. Um, there's lots of information there, so I'm not going to harp on this one too much. But yeah, this is this was three garments in really only took me a couple of days. I mean, the pants, super simple, couple of seams, elasticized waist, no big deal. Um, the tunic doesn't have a set in sleeve. It's like a dolman, so that was super easy and quick. It doesn't even have bands. It is just a fold over. 
Um, all the hems are just fold-over hems, so that was super quick. The only thing that really took some time were the finishing details of this bomber jacket. Like, the shell came together easily, the lining came together easily, um, I bagged it, which, you know, is like super easy. Um, it was just the, the quick little finishing details of doing that that took a little bit of time, and that was really it. Um, zips up, no buttons, so that came together really nicely. But again, all the details in that video, I will link the video down below. Then I'll also put um, a little, um, it's called an end slate. At the very, very, very end of the video, um, I'll put the video on that screen. So you can just click it and it'll take you right to the video. So that one was great. Three in one there. Um, there are a couple of other versions of that. Um, like the, there's a top that has a cowl neck with um, drawstrings that's really cute that I want to try. Okay, the next one is actually another work in progress that I had in the work in progress bin for again, more than a year. Um, and again, it was because of lining, I'm pretty sure. I think that I had this one all done except for hand stitching the, because it's only, it is only lined on the bodice. So it was hand stitching that lining to the um, main fabric. <sighs> or did I not even have the zipper in? I can't remember. It was somewhere along that process. I had it mostly done. Like it's been on a hanger for a while. But this is it. You might remember from Instagram where I had posted like a hand drawing. I'll insert it here so you can see. Um, where I was trying to find a pattern that would work really well with stripes. Like my whole goal was to do a play on stripes. So I settled on the Colette Hazel and this is how it turned out. Um, again, this one isn't up on the blog yet, but I will have a full video for this. I've already filmed it. I just need to edit it. Um, full video on this coming at you in October. So you can get a full pattern review. Um, I don't think the fabric's available anymore, but it did come from Style Maker. Um, and it's just really pretty. I think it's like a rayon shirting or something. But I love how the stripes turned out. I think that I should do a play on stripes more often. Finding those patterns that really just work well with stripes and highlight stripes. You know, stripes can work against you, making you look, you know, bigger or shorter or taller or whatever. But you can also, like, have a lot of fun with stripes. They get a bad rap, but... They don't have to. They can be really beautiful. So, yeah. Love this dress. Super cute. Okay, next up is... Which... Okay, so... The next one I can't totally talk to you about yet because it is a secret sewing project. Um, it's for the Style Maker blog tour that is currently going on and has been going on since last Monday, so like for a full week. Um, my video for it will go live on Tuesday. So I don't want to show it to you or give it away, but I will give you a sneak peek because I'm excited about it. The pattern I will tell you is Vogue 1555, this Tom and Linda Platt dress, color blocked, and the sneak peek, are you ready? That's all you get. <laughs> the video will be up on Tuesday. Spoiler, it's awesome and I really, really love it. So that's all I can say about that. You just have to wait a couple days, just a couple days. No big deal. Okay, and then the last one is, um, Let's see, M7660. This is one of the McCall's, one of the new McCall's patterns for fall. It's this top with like seven, six versions, six different variations on it. Um, I decided to go with the most basic one, which I guess is like a mashup between, it's like a shortened version of F, um, but here it is. It's just a cute little knit V-neck top more like a blouse than a sweater. Um, there's no bands. It's just a folded under hem on the hem and the sleeves. And then like a fold over collar v-neck band for the top. 
the um, neckline. Um, but the fabric came from Joanne and I just got it like a couple weeks ago, so it might still be there. Um, again, I'll have a full rundown of this pattern as well. I've also already started View A, which is another version of it. I have lots to say about that one. It's one of the puffy sleeve. Um, but I think that I've chosen this pattern for my one pattern, one week um, pattern. <laughs> um, that is an initiative I'll talk a little bit more about in my makes video, but, um, or I'm sorry, my plans video. But um, basically you wear one pattern every day for a week, whether it's styling it differently or hacking or making different variations of it, whatever. Um, so I think I've decided on this one for that. Um, I've already gotten one done, as you can see, that I started a second one and I have a lot of ideas for the others. Um, I do think I'm gonna make seven patterns, which is crazy. <laughs> what? I don't know why I do this to myself, but it is really easy. It comes together really quickly once you get going on it. So I don't think it'll be that much. And if I am as productive as I have been this month, um, then that should be no problem. Finally, there's one more if you've been keeping count, and that is the dress that's on my dress form. And this is one of the Sew My Style projects that I have been catching up on. This is the Megan Nielsen Darling Ranges dress. I'll have this on the vlog really soon. I already filmed it as well. I just need to edit it. Um, but it's super cute and I really love it. It's so comfortable. Um, it, it's a really, really great pattern. So I'm glad that it was included in So My Style. Otherwise, I don't know that I would have tried it, to be perfectly honest. I don't know why. I guess it seemed a little basic, but... But yeah, I really, really like it. Um, the fabric came from fabric, I'm sorry, it came from Joanne. The last time I was at Joanne a couple weeks ago, it was still there. Um, it's in their linen section. So go look for that. Um, but I'll have a ton of details on that um, coming up on the blog this month as well. So there you have it. Those are all of my makes for the month of September. Again, I just sort of can't believe I got so much done. So I am going to keep riding this train and keep getting after it. I have so many ideas to get through for fall. So let me know in the comments below what you made this month. Um, if it's a blog, give me the link to the blog. If it's a vlog, give me the link to the vlog. If it's an Instagram post, give me a link to the Instagram post, wherever it is, just link to it or just tell me all about it. Brag on yourself. We all want to see what you've made. So leave that information in the comments and that'll do it. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.